You ever seen the movie Minority Report? I know you're not a movie guy. I actually watched it. Oh, really? Yeah, you watched maybe, Minority Report? Maybe four or five years ago. Okay. Yeah. So in Minority Report, there, there's... Do we have the scene from Minority Report? Do we by any chance have the scene from Minority Report? Uh, uh, Tyler, if you can pull up the scene from Minority Report, you know which one I'm talking about, just to show it. There is a scene in Minority Report where they break into this place, they break the window, and it's Tom Cruise, obviously, in the mm -hmm. movie. They break into this place, they break the window, they go in there, and then they come in and they arrest this guy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know the scene, and the scene says... We are here to arrest you on a future crime you're going to commit. Yeah. Okay. So I'm getting arrested based on motive and a future crime, right? Mm -hmm. Now, we all know certain things takes steps to get there, right? Yeah. Like before, you know, the, a lot of people that are capitalists are afraid of going to co communism. Before you get to communism, first comes socialism, then you go to full control, then you mm -hmm. have full control, right? If, you know... Uh, 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 some people are afraid, hey, don't touch my Second Amendment. I want to be able to have my Second Amendment. First, you start off with a, you know, you know let's just say uh, AK-40, whatever, certain weapons you take. Then you work your way towards taking a gun. It's like, right, so people are a little paranoid saying this is kind of one, which is normal. Only yeah. the paranoid survive. Some people are sitting here saying, so you're going to be able to do facial recognition on me. Um, and let's say you're a nice guy. What makes a thing the next guy that's going to come or buy you over and he cuts you a $2 billion check, and you take that check, and you say, I just built a company to, you know, become financially free. My dreams became a reality. But the next guy that buys it says, yeah, let's use this to go find out everything and add additional searches on the computer that this person is doing to see if we can lead to a potential future crime that's about to happen. Then we can use that to arrest people for a crime that they weren't going to create, but we have to trust the system telling us. And I'm asking an advanced technical yeah. question, but what are your thoughts about the concern people have with that? I think there's a lot of concerns, and they come from, you know, a lot of the media that's happened around, like Minority Report or other kind of movies that are, you know, subconscious. And they, you know, speak to a lot of fears that people have. Uh, in reality, what... Uh, we're the exact opposite. We're used after the crime has happened. So there's nothing about pre-crime. But you can advance. Like, you can... Well, how do you, you can, yeah, how do you know if something's going to happen? No, I get that. But what yeah. I'm saying is... I'm and not then we have also live in a great legal right. system, right? And I think that's what's interesting, right? We have presumption of innocence. You have to prove, as an investigator, that, uh, you know... Uh, and then you have to prove beyond a reasonable well, we doubt. We know a lot court. of people have been in jail that didn't do anything. We that's can, also true. But yeah. also, in, in a lot of those cases, come down to things like eyewitness testimony, right? So Innocence Project has said... 70% of people in jail that they get exonerate or that are in there, 70% of them come from eyewitness testimony, right? If you had a technology like facial recognition, you can make that a thing of the past, where instead of an eye, eyewitness lineup and you had a photo at the crime scene, you can actually find the real person if it's accurate, or you can exonerate people. So I think uh, some of that comes to the misperception of like how the legal system works and investigations work, and uh, there's a lot, it's been an honor for me to see how law enforcement actually work these cases. And granted, there are some who are not uh, the best, but for the most part, most of them that I've met have been absolutely fantastic. And they take, because it's a division of responsibilities, they, you know, uh, do the investigations, and you have a judicial system, so you have a lot of checks and balances in our system. So unless those go away, then that's a problem. Whereas if you see other countries uh, who are more authoritarian, like China and Russia, yeah. they do apply it in a real-time manner, and that's uh, a world I don't want to live in. Um, yeah, they, yeah. And they, op they openly showed, well, I don't know if you've seen I'm sure you've seen yeah. it. They show their technology, and they say, we're pretty much Skynet. You know the movie Skynet. Skynet is... Uh, uh, I haven't seen it. Uh, not, not the movie Skynet. Terminator. Oh, Terminator. I have seen yeah. Terminator so, 1 yeah. and 2. Okay. Great. Yeah. So <laughs> Skynet is like, hey, we're here to protect the world, and mm -hmm. we're here to protect people. And then the reality of it is, no, Skynet eventually turns evil. So where China's like, no, we have Skynet, but it's a... It's a, uh, it's a I nice the, I evil. Saw, I, saw the, I saw the video, something yeah. lost in translation. He's like, yeah, oh, yeah it's nice. Yeah, we're, we're, we're a good Skynet. Yeah. We're, we're the ones that... Well, that's... they have a different system, right? Like, they can detain people for absolutely no reason in China, right? Or whatever reason they want to for an indefinite amount of time. And that, that real-time monitoring is something I don't believe in uh, that you should do en masse. You don't believe popular. in. Yes. You don't believe in. And I'll leave, yeah, and I do think that what is interesting is society and technology co-evolve, right? So you just can't take that technology and apply it the same way here. It just wouldn't work uh, in, on many levels. And what we did is we thought about how can we make our system better, right? So if there's probable cause, right, uh, if the crime has been committed, 
and all you have is a photo, then they run it through the system. Uh, and then they look at the results, and then they try and make the identification. One great example is, uh, and it's also on our website, in our video, is we got a call in 2019 from Homeland Security. And this is a good example because it shows how they actually do investigations and how powerful it can be, and also how it's done responsibly, right? Um, and there was a video of a child abuser abusing a six-year-old girl and selling it on the dark web. Uh, this is why our customers are very passionate about keeping the technology and making sure it's used properly. Uh, the six-year-old was being abused, and in that video, for just two or three frames, there was an adult face in the background, uh, kind of blurry with a beard. They put him through the system at the time uh, with three billion images. There was only one result. He was in the background of someone else's Instagram photo, just working this trade show. Um, uh, for, for supplements. So there's no name attached to him. They could click the link and they had a location in Vegas. And so they could find from the photo that he worked at a certain uh, place um, and they could call the employer, find more information from the employer, um, and then question him and corroborate the child pornography he was selling and his house and photos on Facebook that he had of his house in the background. and. He's doing 35 years in jail. So that shows that when a search result comes up, it's just a clue. It's just a lead. It's, and every photo in the database is a clue. So it's how you use it. And I don't think that uh, things like pre-crime that are suggested in you know minority report would even be legal in this kind of system that we have today. You, you don't think it'll be legal in this kind well, of system? Well, you'd have to... You well, know, you have to prove that they violated some kind I of I totally get crime. it, but, yeah. but to trust that the government will not manipulate to get rid of somebody. Just the other day, the president said in mm -hmm. a, on stage that we have to, you know, get rid of this uh, leader. And he's talking mm -hmm. about Putin. And they came back and they took it back. And no, that's not what Rai really meant. That's not mm -hmm. what really he really meant. There's motives that the government has, and they can figure out a way to take somebody down if they want to. There's many, many different ways to do that. They'll create new laws to go after a mm -hmm. new person. The, the RICO change. Many, many different things have changed to go after somebody. I'm not concerned about you. I'm concerned about who gets a hold of this technology and takes it to the next level. Who would have thought, you know, 10 years ago, a content creator is going to be censored? Who would have thought 10 mm -hmm. years ago a president's going to be censored? But can you imagine 20 years ago saying, you know, what Clinton is saying is so out of control, we have to silence him? Can you imagine 40 years ago? Or 50 years ago, silence in Kennedy because what mm -hmm. he's saying against somebody, like, that's ridiculous. But we're living in that phase. So the speed of advance, advancement today, what would be uh, 10 years, mm -hmm. 50 years ago, is being done in one year today. So people are trying to catch up. So, for example, the government formats, imperialism mm -hmm. um, or monarchy, mm -hmm. you have one ruler uh, uh, that does very well, Louis the whatever, you know, and then comes the next one. He doesn't. He takes the empire and uses his power to abuse the people. Then the next one comes, has to clean up his mess. Then the next one comes. It's the same as the other guy. So whoever's in charge can typically mm -hmm. turn a good technology into a bad technology. That's the concern with a lot of people. Yep. So I'm not really worried about you, but it sure looks like we're headed towards the direction of Minority Report. Don't you think? I really don't think so. I think this future is for us to make, right? And um, we're the only company that has this large database. We decided to only serve law enforcement with it uh, for the reason is that there's controls on what they do and what they use it for, right? Uh, and they, they're playing a certain role to investigate crimes and help solve them. And, um, and then you know, we don't think this database is appropriate for you know, everyone's use. Well, but, well, let, let's, let's see, let's see what this looks like. But it's an interesting topic. But yeah, I, 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 all I can say is uh, having seen how they use it and what they use it for, and the success stories we get every day about saving children and all this really good stuff, it's hard for me to say that it's a net negative. I think overall it's a net positive. And a lot of the concerns that people have had uh, and that are legitimate still are in the theoretical stage. I, I contribute accuracy. to multiple uh, uh, charities that go after human trafficking, and I support that. But for us to think that somebody gets a hold of this to use it in a different way that uh, uh, the motive's not going to be there. I think it's naive for us to think that. Anyways. Yeah, I've, but it's important. And we also vet all our customers we onboard. Yeah. We have the ability to turn off you a can't customer. can't really vet too much of government agencies. Though. How do you vet them? Well, um, yeah, if we you hear can't vet yeah. them. Their, their accountability is the government. They don't have to tell you nothing. 
They, yeah. they're, they're, no, they, they, we, we can go into a little more, but yeah, I, hear, to, I hear your concerns. Yeah. And I think, I, I think that's what's great about being on your show is to you know, talk about these issues. And, well, I and respect the them. fact yeah. that you have the audacity to sit down and have these conversations, but that, that, is a, that is a common concern I hear from a lot so of people. If you enjoyed this short clip, click over here to watch another short clip. And if you want to watch the entire episode, the entire podcast, click here.